Welcome to Cinevino. I'm Don Church. Today we're talking with John Gaugier. He is the executive producer of Witch Hunt and the founder and CEO of South Fox Entertainment. Witch Hunt premiered at South by Southwest this year, and the movie stars Gideon Adelin and Elizabeth Mitchell. And it hits theaters and streaming today, Friday, October 1st. I'm excited to talk with you today, John, about South Fox Entertainment, as well as Film Hedge, the company you founded and its designed to revolutionize the film financing world. John, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. Now, as an executive producer with your film being released today, Witch Hunt, it's going out everywhere. What's going through your mind? I'm super excited for the team. You know, as an executive producer, we get to help filmmakers tell their stories and, and, and producers make it happen. And so I'm just really excited to see uh, the results of everyone's hard work actually, you know, available for the world to see. And what specifically made you and South Fox Entertainment want to get behind Witch Hunt and support this film? Um, honestly, it was the people. It was the team. I met uh, one of the producers uh, fairly early on, and I really liked their vision for uh, what they wanted to do with the story. Uh, and then I, you know, got to read some of the script, or I got to read the scripts and got to see some of the early footage. And I, I liked the um, the uh, sort of mythology they were creating and the uh, the um, analogy they they sort of. Uh, uh, invoke in the film uh, about immigrants and um, how um, politicized that's become. And in the film, you have a similar situation. So it was just exciting to be part of someone's creative vision. And was there anything particular, this is a newer director, Elle, right? So was there anything particular that made you, was she already attached to Witch Hunt when you came on or was she somebody that was joined after? I mean, she wrote this film, right? Yeah, she was very much attached and uh, uh, the project was pretty, pretty far along. Um, I always got to say, I always say I got the easy job. I just got to kind of come in at the end and, and, and cut a check and, and everything went, uh, went from there. But um, I will say that it was, it, you know, one thing that I'm aware of is um, that there is a growing need to just pay attention to the where stories are coming from and, and whose voices are making it to screen. And so it was interesting to see, uh, to be a part of a project um, where I was able to support um, a powerful female director. Um, that was a big part of, um, you know, the whole portfolio of projects that I looked at that um, really spoke to me. Because it's interesting that you're on the finance side, but I saw that you were a composer back in 2007. You started in filmmaking <laughs> a little bit and with music. And then I guess you got out into tech and decided to, you have a passion for film though. Yeah, so, I mean, I went to film school. I went to Savannah College of Art and Design to be a film, well, originally to make comic books, but then to be a film director. But what, what I learned back then um, is kind of what I'm trying to solve right now, which is, the finance side, what, they had all the power. They were the gatekeepers. And if you didn't know them or you didn't have your own money, you weren't in the game and nobody was going to put you in. So for me, it was, uh, I didn't want to be that vulnerable going into the film space, not having any control over the outcome. And so I was fortunate in that I was able to transition from uh, music to film, from film to tech, from tech to finance, from finance to back to media. And I combined all those skills along the way in order to create the, the, the companies that I'm doing now. Can you tell us a little bit more about, about the different films and uh, projects that Southbox Entertainment in general hopes to support? Sure, so Southbox does two things. We uh, develop and package content or we co-finance. So development packaging is new for us. It's stuff that we're creating in-house scripts that our team has written or um, acquired and, and um, uh, things that we're packaging and putting together and getting out there into the market. Um, so that's sort of the, 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 the most recent thing that's been happening at Southbox. Over the past three years, where we came from was co-financing uh, uh, film and TV, well, film projects. We haven't done TV yet, but it's part of our goal. And um, there we, act as almost a co-investor with uh, uh, established producers. The uh, production company on 
witch hunt was a group called uh, Defiant. And they were, you know, they were great. You know, they um, uh, had a, had their own slate. They had their own ideas. And so we were almost like, a, a, you know, small investor in their, their uh, slate of projects. And when projects come to us um, that are looking for co-finance, uh, first, they shouldn't think of us as a producer. They should also still think of us like an investor. We're just putting in money. We're not, uh, we don't have cameras. We don't work on sets. We don't really, we rarely meet the talent. We're just a source of capital. Um, and in order to make that decision, we want the confidence that we're going to be getting involved in projects that are made and that come out. And so still that consistency of having everything together, telling a clear, coherent story and, um, you know, being um, especially, you know, uh, transparent is first. And then I would say second is um, uh, genre, story, things, things of that nature. And so I would say our sweet spot at Southbox when it comes to those types of things, we love uh, historical uh, drama. So true stories that have been dramatized. We love uh, um, uh, stories that uh, cross the pond, if you will, international stories, stories that are ge globally geographically diverse um, and sometimes uh, diverse in cast and all those types of things we care about. Um, and then um, we, and then uh, uh, when it comes to genre, uh, we, we really like, um, uh, you know, uh, thrillers, action. I mean, I would say genre film generally, we're not so selective there. If those first two things are in place, um, you know, and we like it, we like it. it it's a bit opportunistic, uh, you know, in that we're not going out and, and saying like, hey, send us X kind of deals. It's just kind of like, if we find it and it speaks to us, it speaks to us. But those are the overall arcing things that, um, that we, we, we look at. I really like the trailer for Witch Hunt. I was curious when Witch Hunt was first presented to you at Southbox, who got on board first? Oh, it, uh, it was me. Um, I was just, uh, uh, as um, I sort of talked about earlier, really liked the production team. And I thought that um, the, uh, the vision that they had at um, Defiant, which is a group that pr produced it, um, was really strong. And um, this was one of the projects that, that spoke to me. Well, thanks for sharing with us. Uh, I want to say congratulations again on the premiere of Witch Hunt today. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, I, I have to thank the team because I would not be involved if I weren't invited by the producer. And um, I am very happy uh, that uh, the film is out and hopefully um, everyone's happy with how it performs. Well, I'm definitely going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you. And thanks for joining us today on Cinevina. Awesome, thank you.